These are LEGO minifigure torsos, and in this video, we will discover what's really inside of them. Let's go! So, I recently realized that we all have vital organs inside of us to survive, and since LEGO minifigures are the strongest living beings on Earth, we must have missed something about them. And no, I am not talking about the rock who could even lift an additional tire, or Hello any there. sort of Jedi who could use force abilities. I am talking about Steve. Oh, he prefers to mind them all, but still, he's a very strong minifigure. So, from where does the strength come from? Well, we're about to find out. Watch this. I'll remove the legs of the minifig to see what's inside. Nothing? Maybe, if I remove the arm. Still nothing! Okay, so probably I have to cut open the minifig. I mean, for real. Still nothing! We must have done something wrong! Oh. I'm just getting a call. Yeah, sure. My boy Special Agent Ben Banana just told me that his banana meter recorded a new threat to my researchers about the minifigure. A lunatic researcher who wants to rule over the banana empire with a black iron glizzy needs my minifigure to fulfill his plans. Time is running out and I'll give this very minifigure a golden heart to restore its life and then equip it with the best gear I have. And that is a red scarf, a red cape, a red cap and two red dynamites. Now, hopefully, this research will destroy this lunatic. It's over, Minifig. I have the high ground. Hand yourself over and serve a worse purpose than before. Don't try it. Oh boy, now that my Minifig is lost in the depths of the lava, how am I gonna prove that there really is something inside the Minifig? And here's the idea. Why not just make our own Minifig interior? Then, I could show you all that there really is something inside a minifigure. But first, I'll remove the arm. I just broke the arm. Did you ever see that? I'll use a scalpel to further open up the torso and make space for all I want to add. This can be very dangerous, so take your time when working with sharp objects. Your finger is only living once. And there ain't be a golden heart to restore his life. Just look how much space there is now. Well, not enough. I'll even cut off a part of the leg pins, and the first part is done. Let's make the interior. I want to add a colon, a heart, a bone, arterias, veins, and of course the brain. First, I have to properly color the interior. And it will be yellow for sure, since all Lego limbs are naturally yellow. And you won't believe how much yellow I had to use to cover all the blue parts of the legs. But it looks crazy now, and it really was worth it. Well, and now I can finally start with the column. I'm gonna use a Lego plate to flatten out the putty. I'll then try to fit this sausage into the stomach. But I quickly realized that my fingers were too thick. So I'll get a toothpick and it was plain sailing to the point where I realized that my column would be too short. So I got another sausage of putty and put it into the stomach. I'll put the minifig into the oven so putty can dry. Don't be so scared, dude. It'll only be a little hot. And this must be one awesome column. Oh, and watch this. I can still remove the legs. Isn't that genius? Okay, it has actually one major advantage. I now can easily paint the entire column in a skin tone. But that's not everything. I also wanted to add a heart, but the heart pumps the blood through arterias and it returns to the heart through veins. So, I have to make these first. That's actually very easy, just a few strokes with blue and red. Now, I can sculpt the heart out of putty. <laughs> I'm really going into the nitty gritty with that. Awesome! I'll quickly paint it red and then glue it into place. And that looks truly awesome, don't you think? I'll remove the leg because I want to open it up in the middle. It basically is the same process like the one for the torso. With a bunch of different tools, I'll sand away the middle section of the leg to make space for the bone. That definitely split in half, but it's too big, so I'll roof another section of it. Now I'll sneak on some sneakers to the minifig, and that finishes the legs. But the hardest challenge is yet to come, the brain. There's defined how minifigures think. And mine obviously isn't that intelligent, it prefers a banana above 100 bucks. But never mind, in order to prove you that there really is a brain inside the head, I have to cut it open. I first tried it with a scalpel, but the head is just too thick. So. I'll go into the workshop, because I intend to cut the head with a bandsaw. But as soon as the head made contact with the blade, it flew away like a cannonball. So I started another try with a new face and a strong grip. And I had success. But that isn't everything. I could actually just add the brain from Ninja Turtles. 
but that kind of looks cursed. So I'll go with my own brain, created out of putty. I'll make another sausage and implement it into the freshly cut hole. And that looks fantastically dumb. I must paint it pink. Yes, I know it isn't the proper color, but it gets the job perfectly done. And hey, you can still attach a hairpiece to the head. Isn't that extraordinarily hyper special? Well, if not, I've got another thing. I'll even paint the back. I'm gonna add the text gastro because gastroenterology is the science of the stomach. Now, this video took me very long to make because I was in the hospital myself because of my stomach. So if you want to support my work, then please subscribe. Bye.